Hi there, welcome to the Industrial Design Program. My name is Tim Antoniak. I'm the coordinator of the Industrial Design Program here at the University of Alberta. A lot of times we get asked, what is industrial design? Well, industrial design is everything that our senses pick up. It's from the morning cup of coffee that you grab, from the steering wheel that you grab, the seat you sit in, a piece of furniture you look at. Everything goes through, really, the process of an industrial design process and an industrial designer. Really, we often design products, we design services and experiences. So it's a new branch of industrial design that's really growing. In short, you can think about the process of industrial design as shaping the everyday world. And the best designs really are often the things that you just never really think about. Another thing we get asked is, what can I do with an industrial design degree? Well, the options for an industrial design degree and what students can do with it are actually pretty endless. And it's because, again, just about everything in the manufactured world goes through the process of an industrial design process and an industrial designer. Uh, the most successful companies, we believe, are actively searching for industrial designers. Some they don't really realize they need industrial designers because they think their products are efficient, but sometimes they don't link with the right user group or market. And that's where we sort of deal with sort of the softer aspects of product design, of service design, and of experience design. So I mean from Apple to Google to Nike to Tesla, the things that sometimes you wear that you engage with, Again, that goes through you know, an industrial design process, which a lot of times what we sort of introduce our students to is sort of combining research, data analysis, sort of validation, creativity, and out you know, from our design process comes a product, a service, a system, or an experience. And then in terms of what sort of programs we offer within industrial design, we're actually really quite unique within Canada and even within North America because we sort of offer streams for students that they can specialize in so they can go into sort of a business route. And we've got three other different routes that where you can really sort of, the students can custom tailor their education to what their competencies are and what their uh, educational and sort of career aspirations are. Uh, yeah, my name is Ken Horn. I'm one of the technicians here in industrial design. We have a group of three of us that kind of help out um, with, well, obviously the technical problems that you'll have here. Uh, the workshop is kind of this toy factory. You know, it's this place where you can create things that were in your head or, you know, part of part of your design education. Some, some prop asks you to make something or create something or or communicate something, you know, whether it's in a sketch model or whatever. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really, it's a really nice space to, to create stuff. Typically, I would say half of the shop is set up as a woodworking shop. The other half is split between metalworking and a little bit of plastics working. We do get just the, the widest variety of students, and I, I, I really want to emphasize that because you know people kind of have this you know when i talk to outsiders about the program they all kind of think oh so these kids you know they this they come to shop class or something it's like well no no it's it's not it's design class and it's very different and, and the expectations coming in are almost nothing right like you don't have to know what you're doing that is literally the job of the technicians again it's no one is expected to know anything coming in and you know, within a few hours of wanting to learn how, you've got these kids welding up objects, you know, hot steel flying around, and it's like, I had no idea I could do that. The ability to talk with people, you know, people that'll come in here for their first three weeks, you know, they'll be talking, hanging out with grad students, drinking coffee with them, uh, you know, everybody kind of works together, the 400s, 500s, 300s, everybody, uh, eventually just kind of melts together. Everybody sits and looks over your shoulder and you know just give ideas back and forth. I've always believed that. I believe it even more after essentially the lockdown of 2020 where we didn't have the ability to hang out as often as we would have liked. Um, and it is, it's, I, I have so many people come back and, and see, see us after and it's like Oh yeah, like I really miss the shop. 
And you know, it's like, they don't, I don't think they missed the shop. I don't think, I think they're lying to me. I don't think they missed the tools. I think what they missed is the community. Um, I don't know of another program that is this dependent on hanging out with each other.